This is Paralao and welcome to Seki or Shadows Die Twice. Gonna try to make a playthrough out of this. I tried it uh, with the voices in Japanese, it feels not weird, it feels cool but uh, I have to pay a lot of attention to the subtitles so I turned it to English and I'm going to keep the subtitles for the viewers mostly. So both are in English right now but the voices of the soldiers when you fight them are, uh, are in Japanese basically. But the rest of the dialogues are in English. So I'm gonna close the mic so I don't interrupt the cutscenes that are following. I've been playing for a, a chunk of the game but I decided to restart it because I was learning the mechanics. I never played the Dark Souls uh, 3. I never played a Dark Souls game before so it took me a bit to use to but I think I am uh, decent right now so see you in a few In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashina. <laughs> What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some twenty years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, 
had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Let me just check if the mic levels are okay. All right. I'm playing at keyboard. He didn't recognize my PS4 controller. Okay. Kuros Wolf, uh, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bait in the moonlight. Even without your plate, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. <clears throat> okay, so I've been playing through, let's say, if, if you make a quick playthrough. Basically, I think I played through a half an hour of game. Or let's say, let's say one hour. I'll explain on the way. I checked, there is nothing in the back, so I'm not doing it on record. Okay. So. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. So, if you get out of the plants, this guy will see you. And we are unarmed right now. So... Okay. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. So it was a bit difficult to play with Japanese uh, sound and voice. Because all the time I had to look at the subtitles. Basically... It was uh, tiresome, even though I would love to play it like that, for the feel. It's uh, simply too straining. The moon you tell it all. You should check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but <laughs> nobody fixed that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. For now, the only thing I don't like in this game is the jump. The double jump. 
what the would have to make do no don't drop down <laughs> Just take care of something. trying to get in. The cats are uh, working on their own schedule and they don't care if you are busy or not. So I have to chase it away for now. To sit in the other room. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Prince has a has a girl face, and in Japanese, I'm fairly sure it's a woman voicing it. Over here, I don't uh, really think it's a girl's voice. But uh, so the katana and her history. A shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. And they used to engrave their uh, their swords with something like this. Okay, let's uh, take a look around. Oh, yes, yes, I forgot we have to talk a bit. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Healing gourd. Okay. Though it's strange that the gourd's medicinal waters is automatically. The seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Mm, 
Yeah. I'm very sorry that my controller isn't working. I know there is a software to use for to make it work uh, properly on Steam, but uh, I didn't uh, I didn't uh, need it until now. And I didn't know it doesn't uh, detect it. Hmm. The controller would have been better. But I'll do what I can with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, you need to find these things. They don't seem to regenerate. Let me change a bit the uh, sensitivity of the mouse because it feels a bit too sluggish. Yeah. Basically this one. This one, I don't know how to use this one yet. So basically, if you die, your uh, your experience is lost if you didn't reach the next level yet. So it's better to tackle bosses. Sorry, <clears throat> to tackle bosses at the beginning of the level. At least that's how I get it as a strategy. Okay. I get it, but let's. Uh, what was that controller? No. No. Camera options. No. Come on, man. Get options. Toggle, not a lock on. Let's see how that goes because I kept pressing the me button that's for the lock on the enemies and you really need to be locked on the enemies. Where was that freaking thing man? Not this. He only detects uh where was that thing? Oh, over here. I think I... Yeah. No. No. Let's try it on 4. Because I keep having to lift the mouse. Okay, now it's better. Let's hope you don't get dizzy. Hmm. So in this game, it's so easy to die basically if you don't pay attention it took me a while to learn the mechanics but yeah basically if you make him vulnerable you can execute them <laughs> Come on, dare to attack me. But these are uh, very weak. See? But now I died because of that uh, pop up basically. Yeah, one second and you're done. Okay, let's. Uh, 
actually difficult with the bosses because you need to give them two death blows so you can uh, yeah you have to lock on otherwise on this one yeah I missed my chance okay. oh yes there was another one over here they respawn basically from time to time I'll explain when I get there don't need to sneak up on this guy Okay. I'm using a, a silent keyboard, so from time to time you only hear me moving the mouse on the table. Yeah, I executed two of them basically when I one shot the one shot those guys basically that was it the counter slash but I need another uh, decisive blow okay so they call it that blow, but it's a critical blow basically, which can also execute if it's the last one. Ooh, I... No! What the hell? I don't know what I was doing. Perfect, but uh, yeah. Okay, and let's put the pellets on. No, okay. I explored this part a bit, so we are going to do what's required basically and this can be thrown to the enemies to distract them a bit but uh, it takes one second basically so I don't know if uh, it's any use you can pass through here or you can jump on that uh, log over there Basically, you can use that to jump. Yeah. I don't like this thing. I don't fucking like it. But that's okay. I suffered. You can't uh, get on that bridge as I try to get, but it doesn't let us. So let's. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. Mm -hmm. War will be upon us very soon. Yeah. So I thought this guy was cute but he's aggressive so let's try to sneak up on him I'm not confident I can jump over there 
without falling so let's let's go right at him <laughs> So I explored this entire part over there, I even go, went into the water, there are uh, some salamanders over there. I was looking for hidden stuff but uh, I didn't find any. So let's, uh, let's go straight for the door. So if you saw the trailer, you might uh, suspect what's going to happen. Next. We are meeting that samurai in the field. In the first plate right now, I didn't try to beat him because uh, I knew we were losing. But right now, I'm gonna try to resist as much as I can. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, yes, let's call him. The divine. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward then. Yeah, I guess it's a girl's uh, voice also. It's a girl who tries to pass as a boy. I think. Anything Let else? Press onward. Once we leave this passage, we'll be outside the castle walls. Okay. Anything else? Let us press onward. No. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, let's see how much I can hold. I don't think I can hold too much to that guy, but... Nah. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. Hmm. Let's see. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You face Genichiro Ashina. At least one that blow I wanna give you. Yeah, it seems no. Yeah. It seems I want too much. Yeah. 
get you, he's too strong. He's too strong. Is that all that Shinobi has to offer? Hmm. The divine heir will be coming with me. I guess um, there might be an achievement uh, if you give him a death blow, but uh, I couldn't do it. Death is not your fate, just yet. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor, uh, sculpture. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms. Apparently designed with modification in mind, while it bears a number of cuts and it's then thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. Have the mad genius. I suspect he wore it from the, for a time. Oh yes, he doesn't have a hand also. So I heard about this thing to show devotion to gods. You do you do one thing repeatedly. I guess he has a lot of paying to do. Let's check this thing out. You see the kind faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's talk to him. So this is the mechanic guy, basically. I'm gonna keep calling to him. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems He seems to me. really tall. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. 
What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. <coughs> You're quite the strange one, yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Yeah. But first let's get the thing behind the house. These are not refreshed, so... It seems I don't know. You lose the cash that isn't in a purse if you die. Yeah, so let's see what this is. A pallet. Yeah, these are not replenished, you have to find them. And uh yeah, you keep dying and the game gets uh, even harder because you lose them after you respawn. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing when our soul revived defeated enemies. Uh, everybody except the mini bosses or the bosses. If you beat the bosses, you won't fight them again. At least that's what happened to me until uh, what I played. So let's uh, talk to the guy. Uh, I never got that far, so I never saw any items. Basically, you make a fair tra trade based on honor, I think. Who's gonna check if you give money? But uh, I don't know what uh, we will have in there. Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? won't tell me, but you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request to face me in battle. Uh. Oh. Oh. Still alive. <laughs> that mask, man. That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, 
Why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? Uh, yeah, you can practice with him everything if you need the, the exercise and you do need it, but uh, I did enough practicing, so I'm gonna no. pass. Is that so? Well, I can't force you. I thought it might help to pass the time. Let me know if you have a change of heart. I guess I will uh, rehearse with him, uh, but... Uh, Outside of the recordings. Okay. Now, let's clear out the. Yeah, we have a grappling hook. I thought, think it was shown in every in every trailer available. Too good at this thing, basically at climbing walls. But I'll do my best. I can also change directions in flight. There is a map. They didn't reveal it yet. So it, it seems uh, I grinded a bit to get some experience point. Basically, when you rest at this thing, you respawn everything uh, on the every guard available, exception with the exception of the bosses. So I'm gonna show you everything over here I'm gonna show the way to the boss basically and let's hope I get uh, I am patient enough to to go through these guys without getting killed because everybody in this game can actually kill you if you are not 100% what I oh, oh, oh that was my bad okay no 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 come on fucking hate jumping over uh, I hate this thing for uh, jumping the walls. They don't seem to be smart enough to jump here. Oh, he did. Okay, excuse me, sir. And now what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, he fucking hit me, incredible. This is the lowest freaking soldier, he shouldn't be able to touch me at all, but I think I played too much. I played, I restarted, I grinded a bit, so I think I have about 3 hours only in this place. It seems that it's recommended to grind. two people. Let's get this guy because he's more armored than the other. So. Okay. You didn't see but I basically buried three strikes. So if you only hold the the block you can block for 
up a few strikes but after that you lose posture and you get unbalanced and they can strike you so if you if you press block right when the his heat should connect it's better because uh, you unbalance him basically else I kill that guy that's I don't like the this thing <sighs> it's so with every fiber of my being <sighs> okay I didn't get this guy I forgot about it that's Okay, I got a skill point, but I can only use it on uh, on that blue thingy. So let's not mess this up. Uh -oh. <laughs> and hit the swords clashing you have to be very close to surprise them with that dead blow so uh, by doing this part about three or four times I guess four times because I wanted two skills two skill points actually looted something from one of the guards uh, that was meant for uh, for my arm basically uh, let's get the dogs I don't know <laughs> God, man, they are so so fast. Yeah, you can't chase them. You have to wait for them. Okay, so over there we have the boss. Actually, yes, I have a respawn. Yeah, let's save up on this point. And again, double jump. <laughs> oh my god, man, what? I don't, I don't like this part. I don't like it at all. Jumping near the walls. Because the space uh, isn't suited for this thing. Okay. Let's rest. By that we are tied to this point. Okay. And uh, oh, something over there. But the dogs respond, and they are so hard to see. Basically. another one there are one hit one kill okay let's try a boss oh so this is where uh, it was okay we should go to town and uh, 
get that thing uh, done. Yeah, we are going to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't remember what it was. I thought I was supposed to grind to get it, but uh, it was over here. Let's use the grapple hook. Start of double jumping. Oh, okay. Relentless attack is not, yeah, it's not. But man, it's so easy to die in this game, and uh, they set you back. Uh, I never talked to this woman. I didn't talk to her. You okay. truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. So look, he's breathing uh, hot air, but she's not. See? Goodbye. What? What did I do? There was something else hmm. over there. Notice anything different? Yes. Like what? I died. The divine air's voice reached out to me, and suddenly I was alive again. So you died, and now you're alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection? Lord Kuro. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection. They are revived upon death, repeatedly. Impossible. Yes. It is rather strange. And yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. Let's see what I'm else. Glad you've come, Master Wolf. I have. I don't have any good seeds. Okay. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark. Is it a birthmark? No. Then... That must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps... It's a symptom. Hmm. Are you done? Yes. That will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. Okay. Goodbye. Where are you? Do you have anything else I'm to say? No. Master Wolf. No. Goodbye. Let's get our uh, shuriken fitted. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Is it? 
Shinobi techniques recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. So I did this part and got the scroll, but uh, the thing of me, I don't remember how to do it. Sure, you can leave. Let's fit that I found uh, one. prosthetic. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's she someone climbed. that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Oh man, bombed, okay. <sighs> did he, did it? I don't really know. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You'll understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? No. Why did he do it? Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. Okay, I guess he did it. Was a bit unclear. Okay, so he did it. Okay. Well, it seems we are ready, but I don't know how to pick a skill. I don't remember how to do that. Oh, I forgot that fucking blue thing. Yeah, I won't find them because uh, they probably die a lot. A lot of pop-ups and usually they are not in the right moment yes I only have one point So 
combat arts. This is a combat art, martial art. This one seems interesting. So you need to press F, I assume, to use it. Okay, but I like this one. I guess I can take it later. This one activates in that situation only when you make a perfect, uh, a perfect counter. Let's take this one. Yes. This one is good also, I guess. This one? What's this? I don't quite understand how those work, but uh, I'll figure it out. They explain you stuff, but... So I have to use... Consume one of these whenever I use an ability. get them by killing an enemy, so in a way they feed themselves. Let's get one. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need to... I remember that thing. But I don't have any combat arts. Why are you bothering me? Oh. Oh, so it's not F. I thought it was F. Basically, I have to hold block and attack. Okay. When I'm surrounded. Alright. Let's try to remember. Oh, cool. Basically, it's best to use the stuff that you block something. Okay. Can I do it in the air? I can't block in the air just now. So let's move on to that. Um, where was gate path? I think we should finish over here. I don't know. I think I'm too tired to try that boss fight. I played quite a bit. cut the episode over here okay so if this goes well I'll uh, I'll post it next to in the same episode Okay, let's see. So this guy is the real tough boss we can uh, fight, basically. Okay, let's get this one. I can only 
health three. So I should pick them up. Okay. Uh, yeah, over here, over here. I think we can get over there. Let's. <laughs> no, we can't. Okay. Let's be careful not to get seen. Yeah, the best way to do this boss is to. Because he needs to that blows, okay? So, first up. I'm gonna sneak up on him and uh, do a death blow and then we are uh, but let's use up some uh, items okay now let's jump in don't fail look at this man this is not done man I guess they want to teach me about his attacks. He has some um, stoppable attacks that you have to jump over or uh, or dodge, basically. Yeah, very well timed. him too easy. I was scared for nothing. Okay. Yeah. And the guard seat. I think I should turn that in. Yeah, and we are stopping here. The next part is uh, is having her own boss. I think it was shown uh, on the from software side. It's that big guy with uh, a mace or a, a tree trunk. I don't know what it is, but he is also surrounded by soldiers, so he's not going to be easy to beat. Okay. Now let's. Uh, from now on, when I'm resting, this guy won't appear, but the rest of the guards will. Let's uh, take this thing also. I forgot to use the ash, but I, uh, I got him so well that I didn't need it, basically. So I saved up some materials. Let's go back to town. I wanna see what happens when we give her um uh, when we give her that oh. this guy respond. Let me check the Yeah they can't reach me over here. Else. Uh, let me check the experience. Yeah, I should. Uh, I should really get this thing done. Should farm them. But I'll do it outside the recording. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll start the next uh, episode over there at the other gate. But let's uh, turn this thing in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need three more. So let's travel. Let's get important places. <laughs> Talk to the doctor. And we are finishing the episode. 
I'll do some grinding for uh, the next skill point. Basically, after that. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Yeah, give good. Oh, maximum uses. Oh, that's great. I'll take it. But what? Why should I not use it? Let me check. Let me check Goodbye. out. Extremely paranoid. Inventory. Healing guard. Okay. Oh, that doesn't even appear over here. Ninety-nine. Yeah, I just I was just making sure that uh, that you can't use it for anything else. Or maybe if you wanna make the game harder for you, you don't uh, use it. That's a way to play it. But I'm gonna use every advantage I have. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Cold. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. No, okay. It should be grayed out, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay. Goodbye. Also, let's check out this part before we finish the episode. Let's see if any new item has appeared. I'm, I'm curious about the items that could appear. Okay. Okay, let's stop over here. Right. I think it's a good spot. And we'll continue for the next episode to the next part of the road. Alright. Maybe I'll show you how this guy fights, but he's so he's fairly weak as an opponent. The training dummy. Okay. Bye bye.